In Huawei's biggest market, most Google services are already banned by the Chinese government. But elsewhere, where Google and its Android operating system are popular, Huawei devices rely on it. Well, I would use Google Maps anymore, so for that reason I won't buy Huawei. Future Huawei phones could be cut off from all Google services. The U.S. government is forcing companies to cut ties with Huawei unless they get special approval. It has accused the company of espionage. But a spokesman for China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs says the U.S. is trying to spread rumors and smear other countries' enterprises. Huawei needs this to be resolved really, really quickly to make sure it doesn't lose all of that great momentum it's got in the marketplace that has got it to be number two worldwide right now and a clear aspiration to be number one. After the company was blacklisted, Huawei CEO told reporters that it doesn't engage in spying, and he hinted at the possibility of pulling out of the U.S. The tech giant may not need Google either. It's working on its own operating system. So it may be that uh, paradoxically it's Google that ends up more harmed because Huawei is absolutely huge in developing countries and with young users. But it could also further shake confidence in Huawei at a time when governments around the world are trying to decide whether to allow its next generation 5G technology or ban that too. Jacqueline Hansen, CBC News, Toronto.